Sean, and I love music. Uh, welcome to April What's Spinning, lots of music to get through, going to be talking about what I've been listening to on streaming services and what new records I've gotten over the course of March and April. There's a lot to get through, let's just get straight to it. First of all, a nice, grim, traditional black metal release, uh, Care Morin by the band Hickisblad, um, fantastic. Second wave themed traditional black metal themed around the Witcher world, it is epic and it is uh, grim and it is, it's, 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 it's wonderful, it's really, really good. Go and check them out on Bandcamp, really, really good. That's Care Morin by Hickisblad. Next up is War by Whores. Whores are wonderful, grimy, sludgy, Melvin worshipping heaviness. Um, I absolutely loved Gold uh, by the band and I'm really, really, um, really enjoying this new record. Not listening to it enough to kind of really, really thoroughly get into it just yet, but I'm liking what I'm hearing so far. It is straight to the point sludge metal, um, really, really amazing vocals, really, really thundering, pounding drums and heavy riffage. Um, absolutely amazing. Absolutely wonderful album that just dropped, uh, Voidkind by the mighty Dune, or Divin, Divini, or Dune, who knows. It's like old school Mastodon crossed with the ocean, it is big, sludgy, progressive metal with a glittering sheen but like plumbing the primordial depths of raw heaviness, it is absolutely fantastic and I will listen to it a few times um, now but I'm still discovering new wonderful nuggets of heavy goodness. So that's Voidkind by June, absolutely fantastic progressive metal, check it, check it, check it, check it out. An album I didn't think I'd be looking forward to is um, You Won't Go Before You're Supposed To, which is coming on Mated by Not Loose. Um, I've checked out two of the tracks from this, the absolutely massive Don't Reach For Me and Suffocate featuring Poppy, and it's amazing! It's just so bloody good. It's kind of like, I, I can't even describe it, it's almost like ultra heavy new metal. Um, I know that may not sound the most appealing thing in the world, but they're kind of like a, a, the, 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 the spear tip of that kind of new metal revival, mixing uh, new metal with uh, metalcore and sludgier, heavier sounds. It, it's just really good. It's thoroughly bouncy. And it's one, of those, it's one of those bands that every single song has a breakdown in it. Um, but no, no, I'm really looking forward to their new album. So that's a You Won't Go Before You're Supposed To and it's coming in May 10th. So watch out for that. Really, really good. album I simply cannot wait to hear is Le Chance de Lerore and coming out on June 21st by the mighty, the impeccable, the inimitable Alcest. Um, they've released a couple of tracks from it already, uh, Flamme Jumel and Le Vol, um, they are both wonderful glittering pieces of post uh, post black metal, black gaze, whatever you want to call it, it's Alcest, it's really wonderful, ethereal, beautiful, with bits of black metal heaviness and blast beats in it as well. Um, I have loved every single one of Alcest's albums and I can't wait for this new one. I really cannot wait to get lost into one of their long projects, really looking forward to that. So that's Le Chan de Aurora and June 21st, cannot wait, Alcest, amazing. Let's talk about records, let's talk about the vinyl that I have purchased this month. There is quite a few. Uh, first of all, an uh, oldie but a goodie. I finally got Ghost Reveries by the mighty Opeth on vinyl. Um, this is my favourite Opeth album, but for some reason I simply did not own it. Um, I remember that I bought it for my dad, who is also an enormous Opeth fan, but um, I never got myself a copy. And finally I picked myself up a coffee. A coffee? A copy? <laughs> I found myself a copy cheap on the internet, thought why not? So Ghost Reveries, Opeth, you know what it is. It's big sumptuous progressive metal with a gothic tinge, absolutely beautiful. An album I absolutely beamed about in the last episode of What's Spinning, that's Izon, Izon, Izon. That's Izan's self-titled This Is Dense Labyrinthian Blackened Prog. It is absolutely sumptuous and wonderful and breathtaking and every other thing I can think to describe Izan with. I have absolutely loved Izan's solo material and this has been this has been one of the highest points so far. Uh, my favourite um, album after is obviously my favourite Izan album, but this is a very, very close second. It is wonderful, it's dense, it's macabre, it's 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 just bloody. Brian, you should definitely give this album a go. 
I've been listening to a lot of uh, melodic death metal this month. I wonder why. I've been listening to a lot of melodic death metal and I picked up two records that I didn't own previously. I picked up Holographic Universe by the mighty Scar Symmetry. Scar Symmetry are brilliant. They're basically at the heavier end of um, melodic death metal, a bit more progressive um, than just bog standard. Um, uh, melodic death metal. Why did I struggle to say that so much? Holographic Universe, it is their best album. It is, it is labyrinthian, it's dense, it's complex, it's riveting, it's um, sci-fi daft, it's absolutely brilliant. Uh, so yeah, if you've not heard Scar Symmetry, check this album out first of all. Holographic Universe, absolutely wonderful. And a band I can't believe I had never listened to before, Amorphous. I got this album, Skyforger by Amorphous. Until this year, I had never heard Amorphous. I just never thought to check them out. Then one day I was just reading an article and someone mentioned how good Skyforger was and it's, it's, it's bloody brilliant. It is such a lovely, impeccably performed, sometimes heavy, but always brilliant album. Um, I, I'm so thrilled that um, I, I've discovered this now. If you've never checked out Amorphous, check out Skyforger. This is such a good album. It's so, so good. So if you didn't know, Dark Throne have got a new album coming out this month and I was like, oh, I'll buy a Dark Throne album. I'll buy Dark Throne's new album. Um, but at the same time, I was also like, hey, I'll pick up one of Dark Throne's old albums. So I got Under a Funeral Moon. Don't really think there's much to say about it. It's an impeccable bit of black metal history. It's absolutely fantastic. Dark Throne are amazing. Under a Funeral Moon. Mwah. Delicious. And finally, a record that was on my bucket list that I can finally cross off thank you to a wonderful bargain buy on Discogs, 010 by the mighty Mad Capsule Markets. If you've watched my Mad Capsule Markets video, which will be somewhere up here for you to, to check out, you know I have a deep and lasting love of the Mad Capsule Markets. And yeah, it, it, getting Mad Capsule Markets vinyl in the UK is very, very difficult. Uh, but yes, we're so glad to see this as a bargain come up on Discogs and, and now I own it. And it's absolutely wonderful. It is Digipunk nonsense from the masters of digipunk nonsense um so yeah zero one zero mad capsule markets and last of my not new records that i bought was a uh, mortal coil by dodgeret if you don't know who dodgeret are they do epic triumphant kind of traditional kind of atmospheric black metal it's just absolutely wonderful it's brilliantly produced it's impeccably performed it's just so bloody brilliant and the reason that i got this is because they had a new album coming out and i wanted to brush up on what dodgerit were like and i'm so glad i did because this album is amazing that's mortal coil by dodgerit and I don't have one album of the month, I actually have two because there were two releases that were just so utterly fantastic, I just couldn't pick between them. Um, as mentioned, I've got Dodgerit and Nocturnal Will, their brand new album which came out this month. Um, it is fantastic, like I said, it is thoroughly epic um, black metal. A wee bit of like melodic death in there as well, with some almost kind of like traditional melodies in the background, but it's just so good and it's so epic and it's so addictive. Like, I, I thoroughly thoroughly enjoy this album if you even have a passing interest in modern black metal give this a go that's Nocturnal World by Dodgerip and the second album this month that I just can't help but talk about is Men Goods Hond Erstirk by the mighty Hamfer this this came out of the blue didn't even know who Hamfer were before the beginning of this month and then I start to see their name get thrown about and people start throwing the usual kind of adjectives around to describe them they are Death Doom, they are beautiful Death Doom, they are thoroughly heavy Death Doom and I was like, I'm going to give these guys a go and I'm so glad I did. Uh, they are heavy and they are morose and they are devastating and, and they've got that really kind of Death Doom grill going. Clean vocals are angelic, they are just so impressive and they're really impassioned and they're really raw. Um, the whole concept and theme of the album was um, a, a ship that, that was lost at sea with the whole crew um, in the Faroe Isles and this is just a really tragic and harrowing story. Uh, it's not sung in English but you can you can get you can get the raw emotion and the raw feeling from it. I absolutely love this. I am always a big fan of some absolutely devastating doom and this album ticks all those boxes. That's Hamfair and Mengo's Hond Esteric. It is oh, it's so wonderful. Can't say enough nice things about it. Stay tuned for the next episode of... The, hold on. Stay tuned for the next episode of... 
stay tuned for the next episode of the album that made me where we'll be covering one of my early early loves of Swedish melodic death metal watch out for that give this video a like if you liked it leave a comment suggest some more music for me to check out and give me a wee follow if, if that's your bag um, but otherwise stay safe be good be kind and I'll catch you all on the next video cheers sometimes I like to pour hot cocoa mix into cold milk and drink it like a cold hot chocolate I call it special drink and someday you will know it by its true name diabetes